Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening, YouTube. My name is Stefan Siegel. I'm known on the internet as uh, Soul and Sadness, or SI Sadness, as you can write here on my very old band shirt. And I'm here to join Gardener's hashtag why I use Linux. Maybe I might be the f one of the first people who release their videos today because I'm situated in Europe. I'm 33, I'm 33 years old. English is not my native language. I'm in fact a German <laughs> and I'm a nurse. But before I was a nurse, I did 15 years. My job was, uh, I think it's called media, media designer nowadays, a job at a print workshop. My, uh, I took everything that was given to me by the customers and converted it into a format that we could handle, that the printer could handle. And we did it without computers. It was uh, 60, it was 96 when I started my education in this particular uh, profession. And computers were too, <coughs> excuse me, computers were too slow at the time. You had to do everything with camera. Everything was analog photography, copying, stuff like that and that leads me to my reason why I use Linux and I um, it's a very specific reason it's compatibility compatibility of software of hardware and of human let me tell you what I mean it all starts with this little machine this is a machine I bought 2011 uh, it was used there and it's my fallback laptop until now it's a very old Dell Latitude uh, attached with a sticker of a shop that uh, still exists but is in another location I think here in my hometown back then it ran Windows 7 and it ran okay at work we were already switching we had been already switching. 2011 was my first year as um, of becoming a nurse. We had been switching to uh, Mac computers. I refuse to call them Apple. They're Mac computers, and they were great for as a as a workstation. Really, as a workstation, powerful machines. This little thing ran Windows 7. It ran okay. I did some media stuff. I still was doing some flyers, some artwork. I love to do music. Um, at the moment, I don't have a band and no projects. I'm not doing music at the moment. But I still do live broadcasting. Icecast, live broadcasting, Gothic Web Radio. That's my stuff. This was okay. But here and there, there were hiccups. And in a live situation, and all the streamers nowadays who are doing their video broadcasts or for video games or whatever is on their mind, know what a bad situation it is to have hiccups during a live broadcast. So I thought, let's try something different. I was already used to switch between two operating systems, Windows and Macintosh. I refuse to call it Apple. <laughs> So let's see what all this Linux stuff is all about. So I installed, uh, I dual booted into Ubuntu 12.04 and I noticed something. I've lost lots and lots of hours, maybe days or weeks if you put them all together, converting files. Doesn't matter if it's video files, picture files, office documents, music in Windows and Macintosh, and that's a thing that's grounded in proprietary software. You're bound to what you're allowed. And that's a paradox, because we Linux users, we love our free software. You will, I hope this, this hashtag, this event today, will be a great success. There will be many people who tell you about the community, about free software, how free software is better for us all, because it's free as in freedom or free speech, not as in free beer. But also, let's be honest, um, by, by concept it should be worse. By concept you should have problems using MPEG-4, MP3, AAC. No. Never in my life, since I switched to Linux, 
did I run into the problem that a sound file, a video file, and so on and so forth didn't work. And that's a situation I had with everything, with Microsoft, with Adobe. Let's be honest, uh, the free software solutions uh, that we use, there are, it's no longer universes, but there are still worlds between uh, free software program like Kading Life, which I will use to uh, stitch this wonderful video together after I've done filming and something like Adobe Premiere or Final Cut. That's worlds apart. On the other hand, it doesn't hold your hand. You have the whole community to guide you and everything you want to do all depends on your will and your ability to use the program. There will be no hand-holding, there will be no things springing to life being like Oh, it looks like you're doing a Wheelock. Need a template? I have plenty of templates. Choose me, I'm here for you. That won't happen. You have to know what you're doing. But once you've figured out how your free programs and your free OS works, it works for you. I put Ubuntu 12.04 on here. And later when the 1404 cycle came along, I stopped dual booting completely and I choose Linux Mint. Linux Mint is said to be boring, uninteresting, too easy. Well, in my opinion, there is no too easy. If you want to try Linux Mint, Linux in general, take Linux Mint, you will, you will get there. You will get there where I say, okay, now I know how things work, I can do this on my own. I'm not an engineer. I don't know a single programming language, not a single language. I learned basic in middle school, but this was 92, 92, 25 years ago. Jesus, I'm old. I'm not a programmer, not at all. You might get confused because uh, there is not the one Linux graphic user interface GUI. There are many. Most of them work Windows-like. Others look a little bit like Mac. Others may, may remind you... How your phone works. You push a button, there are all your applications. Now do what you want. And me... The guy who is a media designer used to work with analog material, with copy machines and uh, photographs. Who is now a nurse, whose uh, profession it is to work with people and who is not that big into technology. On my main machine, it's down here, you can't see it because it uh, records the audio. Arch Linux, all done by myself, from scratch. It's a little Pro, it's a little OS, it's fast, it's simple, and it does what I want. I've been more creative in the last years than I've ever been with Windows. I don't have the problems having enough money to get my stuff. I don't have, as I said for, uh, before, file problems, stuff like that. Never been. I'm never going back. That's for sure. If you want to try Linux, don't go to your main machine. This is, this is something I like to tell you because dual booting, dual booting, you, you can install Linux besides Windows and you're ask after you switched your machine on what to do. Don't dual boot. It's no good. And it might break when one or the other is updating things. Use an old machine five to eight years. Too slow to run a modern Windows or uh, stuff like that. Grab an ISO, either Linux Mint or Ubuntu or uh, OpenSUSE is, is, is quite well. It's uh, not what I use, but OpenSUSE is, is a good uh, third alternative. Don't use Debian, don't use Arch. These are for uh, professional users who already know where they want to go. Um, Install them on your old machine that, is, that might be too slow to run anything and just look into it. In all these distributions I told you, you will have an office suite, you will have a media player, you will have a browser, 
you will have um, Thunderbird or a similar email program, you will be good to go. And then just go with it. Be brave. You can't break anything. These systems are really made. You can do anything you want with them, but it's very hard to break with them. Don't be afraid. You won't break anything. I can break my arch anytime I want, but I won't do it. And then go to the community. Go to ubuntu.com. Search for the forum. Go to linuxmint.com or org. Go to the forum. Go to OpenSUSE and go to the forum. There's always a beginner's guide. Don't be afraid to ask. Linux people are very polite people because we've all been noobs at some point. This point is five years away for me from now. Everything's great. The Fallback machine runs Debian 9. It's a really old machine. Intel Core Duo, 4 GB DDR2 RAM. This thing does nothing. It runs DB9 and it runs fine. You may have seen my first Linux video where I put Linux Mint 18 on a web book. Intel Atom, 1 GHz, 1 GB of RAM. It may take 3 minutes to load, but it works. I went to my wife when she had problems um, with her computer. Things were... Then okay, then let's try Linux. She's running Debian 9 as well before she had uh, Linux Mint 13, uh, 17.3. My mother, which is the grandmother of four, uh, five children, sorry, five children already, um, runs Linux Mint, no problem. My, <laughs> my head of department at work, she runs Linux Mint 18, no problems. And these are not geeks, that are just people who want things to work. And I never had any questions. Can you do this? Can you do that? I have problem with this, with that. It just works. And it works the way you want. The way you configure your machine. With Linux, this is your computer. And this is why I choose Linux. Yeah. <laughs> That's basically the end of my script. Before I... Um, before I quit, I want to give shout outs to many people who are way more important than me in the Linux world. And uh, these are not the only YouTubers or Whitmeers um, out there, but they are the ones that I usually watch. Chris Were Digital, Brian Lunduk, Matt Hartley, or Brian Lunduk and Matt Hartley together, they have, they have a wonderful show, the Linux Thursday, where they just go through questions. Joe Collins. Search for them right away. Hope to see you on the Penguin side soon. Auf Wiedersehen.